Hi, and welcome. I'm going to teach you how to schedule follow-up emails in this video. With this feature, you can plan your follow-up emails and schedule them in order. Aweber will take care of the rest for you. You can spare your time and do other important tasks while Aweber sends them the follow-up emails automatically. So, let's get started. Log in to your Aweber account. You will see the Messages button at the top left side of the page. Move your cursor to the button and you'll see a drop-down menu. Choose the Follow-up Series option in the drop-down menu. It will lead you to this page. As you can see here, there are three options here. Drag and drop Email Builder, Plain Text Message, and Code Your Own HTML. You can choose the one you usually use to upload emails. But in this case, I'm going to choose Plain Text Message as an example. When you're in this page, Please type your subject line and your email in the large box below your subject line. And when you're done with it, click on Next and wait for it to load. And then you'll see this page. You want to tick the Click Tracking, because this feature enables you to track on the open rate. And then click on Save and Exit. And there you go, your first follow-up email. To create a second email, move your cursor to Create a Follow-up and you'll see four options in the drop-down menu. For this case, I'm going to choose Drag and Drop Email Builder for a change. It will lead you to the page where you will fill in your subject line and write your email. This is different from the plain text message. You will see a transparent background with a box where you can write your email. At the right side of the box, click on the Templates button. You can see that there are many choices. However, I will not recommend the fancy templates, because the chances that your email will be sent to the spam folder are higher if there are too many images in the email. What I will choose is the plain template. You can choose to be center aligned or left aligned. In this case, I'll choose a center aligned plain template. Once you're done with it, click Apply. There is a list of features at the left side of the box you can drag them into the box. For example, if you want to add images, move your cursor to the Image button. Hold on to it and drag it to the place where you want your image to be. You can then upload an image or select an image from the image gallery. Moving on, I want to teach you how to hyperlink your link in your email. Select the sentence you want to hyperlink, find a chain-like button on the top menu bar, click on it, enter the URL link, and click the OK button. Once you're done with this, click on the Next button. As you can see, this is a different page from the first email you've created just now. In this page, you need to state how many days after the first, previous email you would want to send out the second email. If you have a monthly follow-up email series, change the number to 30 so that your second email will be sent one month later. If you want to send it after one week, change the number to 7. The number can vary depending on your schedule. With the Send Window feature, you can even deliver your message on certain days and times. For example, if you want the email to be sent on weekdays only, tick the boxes from Monday to Friday. You can also set the time interval between 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. For the Send Window Days and Times, Statistics show that weekdays, from 9 to 12, is the time where most people check their email. So it's highly recommended to choose that interval to send your email. You will notice that there are another two options below the table. The first one is Send Messages based on each subscriber's local time. You may want to enable this, because you wouldn't know exactly where your subscribers are. If you send the emails merely according to your own time zone, you might lose some subscribers. The second option is apply these days and times to all messages. This is totally optional and depends on your schedule. In this example, I'm going to put 30 days under the interval and enable the send window. Tick on all the boxes of weekdays and put the time from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. In addition, tick on send messages based on each subscriber's local time. Most importantly, tick the Click Tracking. And then, click on Save and Exit. And there you have it. You've just set up your follow-up email series.